Teachers and admin, we have something very exciting to go over with you today. We are looking into building an eligibility dashboard, much like Jinx Public Schools uses for their eligibility and RTI for teachers and admin to have very good information on how their students are doing in their everyday classes and coursework. Using this dashboard would take us from utilizing eSchool to create assignments and fill in data to solely using Canvas for those processes. This is going to simplify things for teachers. They will not have to use Grade Passback. They will not have to create assignments inside of eSchool. Instead, they would just utilize Canvas to create assignments and to enter data on students. This will also give parents just one portal to see everything about the student's academics. They will be able to see the past, present, and future inside of Canvas. What I'm going to show you today will both be accessible by teachers and administration. The only variable is how many students that you see. A teacher would just see the students that are enrolled in his or her class. The administration tab will show all students for that sub account, which in this case will be by building. As you can see, we have five fake courses, computers, English, math, science, and social studies. If we click into any of these courses and go to the gradebook, you will see that each student has multiple assignments and grades for those assignments. And you'll see their final grade over here on the right side. Let's jump back to the dashboard. This dashboard is how you access your classes. The eligibility dashboard will show students and their current grades and their eligibility status. This will replace the need to run eligibility reports out of eSchool. This will give real-time data on students' eligibility. This system is set to run every Thursday night and give eligibility for Friday. Let's jump into the dashboard and see what that looks like. There are two ways to access the dashboard, and we will have two ways as well. You'll see at the bottom left, you'll see Tools. When you click on Tools, you'll see the first option is Student Performance Dashboard. You can also access this by going to Account, Settings, and then you'll also see Student Performance Dashboard. Both ways take you to the same place. As you can see, it will open a new tab in your browser. This is the Student Performance Dashboard. You can see it's very visual. You get a little pie chart here that shows ineligible students, probationary students, students at risk, and proficient students. As you can see, the students at risk are below 70%. This category will be students that have anywhere between a 60 and a 70. Your probation students will be the students that are ineligible for at least one week, but haven't continued on being ineligible for the second week that would cause them to be actually ineligible. Ineligible students have been ineligible for two weeks, therefore they are ineligible to participate in their events. Proficient students are students that have a 70% or above. As you can see, I can very simply just unclick these to see the pie chart in a different format. You can see we're looking currently at 30 students. If I uncheck this, it will just show me the students that are probation, at risk, and proficient. And you can see it drops to 25 students because right here, five students are ineligible. Three probation, 14 at risk, and eight students that are proficient. As I uncheck these options, my menu below only shows the students in which I am viewing. So now I have just viewing ineligible students and I have a list of just ineligible students. If I wanted to change that to just proficient, I can just check proficient and see those students names listed here. Just so you know, these are all fake students made from a random name generator and have false scores given inside of Canvas. Up at the top left, you can change what course you are looking at. Now for this, I have the same 30 students enrolled into each course, but for a teacher or a admin, you can click on individual courses and see just the eligible and eligible at risk and probation and proficient students by clicking on the course in which they reside. And that data will be more specific 
to just that course. One of the best features is just the ability to search a student. If you know a student that you're wanting to look at specifically, you can just put their name in here. As you can see, as I typed, it auto-filled that student's data. If I click on this name here, it's gonna take me to the same place as if I was to click on the student down here. It pops up a window that takes me to that student. This student is proficient in every single one of their classes, which means they have a 70 or above. The great thing is you see the course, the grade, and the instructor for the courses that that student is listed in. I can print this report from this menu right here. All right, let's look at an ineligible student. But if you look over here on the left side, you see the grades. As we know, a 70 or above is proficient. So this aligns with that status as well as this. Both these grades are proficient, therefore they are blue. But as you come down here, you can see we have a 67.92, but it is also blue. The reason this happens is the colors stay the same and only change each week when the report is run. So as grades change, that updates each night. This warned you that the student was proficient at the last report, but now has dropped to at risk since that report has run. You can click on this class and see every grade and why they might have gone at risk. As you can see, they were turning in all of their assignments and doing pretty well. And on this quiz three, they got a zero out of 50. And you know why they are now ineligible. So as an athletic director or a teacher that needs to talk to the student about improving the grade, you now have all the information that you need to have that discussion with that student. Let's jump back into this student's. As well, you see a 64.99 is at risk, which is a true color per grade. But here we have a 62.92 that is red. That grade is what caused them to be ineligible. But this means that before the last pull, they actually had a score lower than a 60, which caused it to be red. They have raised that grade since that report has run, so you can see that the 62.92 is red. If the ineligibility report was to run now, this color would turn from red to yellow. Let's see why they got that grade up. As you can see, we have the grades listed here, 20 out of 100, 20 out of 100, not too well. But then you can see the last quiz, this student got a 50 out of 50 raising that score to now at risk instead of ineligible. One other great data point that this gives you is here on the right. You can see below 60, it will give you a timestamp for how long the student has been at a 60 or below. And this student has been at 60 or below for two weeks. Let's jump into this student that is also ineligible. They've been ineligible for two weeks, but as you can see, the next report that runs, this student will be at risk and no longer ineligible. But you can see over here, we have orange, which is probation. It shows how long the student has been on probation, which is one week. So the student will not be ineligible for this grade because they have brought it up from that below 60 to a 63, which is at risk rather than probation. A student is on probation in the first week of an ineligible grade. If the second week hits as ineligible, then therefore they go red and are ineligible for the next week. If they are able to bring the grade up above 60% within that week, as that next report is run on the end of that following week, they would become at risk, which means eligible again. Course grade display range. This is also a great menu to decipher what students you want to look at. The first menu says display grades greater than or equal to a value or less than or equal to a value. You can also take the equals to off to get even more specific. But let's say that I wanna see my students that have grades between a 60% and a 
The next option is require all students' course grades to be within this range. So this means that this student, Aaron, all of that student's scores are between a 60 and an 80 percent. So when I click on the student, you will see every score they have are, is between that value. I can also change it to say require one of the student scores to be within that range and you'll see I get a lot more students. As you can see, if I want to know students that have three of their course grades in between a zero and a 75 percent, it will give me that list. I have 10 students and you can see them here. Obviously, if I uncheck these students, you can see I have five students that have failing grades and no grades higher than 75. So you can really see the students that are struggling. As a teacher, this is really great because you can see the students that are having problems with all of their coursework compared to just yours. Finally, I wanna go over the export feature. As you can see, I am showing all of my ineligible students now. If I wanna export this report, I can very easily click on export once I have the data range decided. Now I have the file that shows the ineligible students per course and the grade. This can now be shared as an ineligible report straight from the dashboard. This is just a short overview of the student performance dashboard and how it will help teachers and admin run eligibility and get at risk students and work with RTI to improve students grades and learning. I want to give a special thanks to Jinx for allowing us to demo their student performance dashboard. I hope this helps and have a great day.